Yes, Rappel's looking really good. He's cleaning up that left side build um, that Yoshi had going. Like you said, he's he's ahead by 30 population, roughly. Getting the Vil picks. Getting a lot more Vil picks, dude. Again on the wood line of Yoshi. Sure, Yoshi has tower upgrade, but still, he's losing Vils, dude. He's 32 to 22 villagers. Are you kidding me? Yeah, this Rappel guy, he's serious. He's not joking around. He already has some Valkyrie upgrades. He's just keep playing aggressive. Don't give Yoshi any time to breathe. Alrighty, everybody, welcome to quite the series, quite the series, Rappel against Yoshi, the stakes are high, we are excited, I'm uh, co-casting here, you can see his little name here in this uh, right side, in the green color, we have Count Fun Count. <laughs> Hello guys, hi there. <laughs> Alright, but for the players, for the players, we have Rappel playing Odin here in the blue, nice little great hunt to start off with, um, and we also have Yoshi also playing Odin. Um, this is mega random, one of these mega randoms, the sacred pond version of mega random. You can see these guys both going for um, docks early on. So it's like a super miniature Mediterranean lake, a Mediterranean pond, I guess you could call it. Um, and and an, an Odin mirror for both of these guys. Um, count when, you know, thinking about Yoshi, Yoshi has been playing a lot of Odin recently, but I, in my perspective of him is that he can play a lot of Loki, a lot of, I guess, Odin, not so much Thor. Are you surprised at the Odin pick here? Where's, where, what are you thinking for Yoshi's God pick? I think Yoshi is extremely good with Loki and with Odin indeed. I have seen him a little bit on tour. Uh, he had a few good games, but I think Loki is his to go to pick, so I did actually expect him to go Loki and not Odin. Hmm. Well, so having said that, oh, we actually have yeah. some surprise water over on that right hand side. I don't think there's any fish there, but interesting. Inter it is mega random after all, haha. -ha. Mega random, yeah. Okay, well, so this is, you know, with this really, we were just talking about how Yoshi, one of Yoshi's key to victory, keys to victory is you know, to just kind of mid do weird Yoshi things, since Rappel is a lot, you know, a very heavy standard meta type of a player. Um, if Yoshi can really throw a curveball for Rappel and confuse things and mix things up, that's probably going to be good for Yoshi. I think there's possibility of doing that, like this, because of the water here. This is this doesn't really play like a Mediterranean, or does it? Have you played this um, Mega Random format before? No, I, I haven't played this Mega Random yet, but what I see here is 12 fish. So it's like a, a, a small variation of the Mediterranean, but also I think there's a little bit more hunt. I saw some rhinos, I saw some aurochs, so winning water is not so important. You don't have to overinvest in water. Of sure. course, maybe you don't want to lose it instantly, so I would probably go for a second duck. But yeah. I think both players might go for a few ships. But I don't think they're gonna overcommit here. Hmm. The thing is, is that since there's, you know, since you're so close to your opponent right here, it's it's really it can be really difficult to micro. For example, if you have these, you know, you don't usually see these giant um, these giant water battles. In you put it, I cannot. I call that. You don't really see these giant water battles here in the middle, just because there's not a lot of room to micro around, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> And also, a Mediterranean, you can, you know, zone uh, the sh fishing ships away from the fish, so they have to garrison. But if you look at the second dock Rattle is making right now, it's really hard to place a ship over there on defensive stance to zone the fish, because it will always be in range of, uh, of uh, a dock fire. So I feel like maybe go two or three ships, try and see what your opponent is going to do, and then just go, go for the hunt. Like there are three rhinos over here. It's it's enormous. It's a huge amount of hunt. Which side? I've been I've been kind of oh they're the they're the rhinos. But still still count. I mean you know with if you kick your opponent off of fish quickly, or are yeah. able to just you know six fish compared to no I no fish. I know that Odin gets a nice little hunt bonus, and you know the rhinos could definitely be sick. 
But you don't want to give that up early. I mean, I know you already said that. You definitely don't want to give your fish up early. Uh, so you, you got to at least fight for it. And in fact, if you look at Rapples, the left side fish for Rapple, those can easily be denied since they're right. They are not right next to the dock. Those can easily yeah. be denied um, by Yoshi. I think you're right. So there are a few fibs that can be denied. So the first one of Yoshi is getting away. Uh, Rapple apparently is faster in the second age. And from now on, it seems like both players are going to go for some for some ships. So it's going to be a little bit of a Mediterranean fight, apparently. Yeah. Keep an eye on the long, but although, although Yoshi does have a couple of units going forward looking for that forest fire, but he's getting out microed on, on the water, man. Yeah, Rebel's doing a great job. He was faster in the second age. He's having more ship already. Two ships dying from Yoshi. He is clearly ahead already. All right, There's a fire. nice forest fire over there. Both players, actually. Both players, forest fire. Any veal kills? A couple of veal kills! Rapples Valkyrie gets a couple of veal kills on that wood line of Yoshi. Very, very nice. That's huge. That's huge. I think this is the best start Rebel could wish for. Oh, yeah. Domination, the water, kill with the force fire. That's everything you're looking for in the early game with Odin. Exactly. I mean, by all means, I, I can mention I mean, Yoshi's getting out micro on, on water here, but he is forcing Rapple to fight under you know under both of the docks. So um, if Yoshi gets gets fishing ships inside there, there we go. Both of those docks are gonna be able to, you know, damage Rapple's ship. So by all means, like, you know, it's better for Rapple, for sure. But Yoshi's still fishing here, man. Yoshi's still fishing. He's 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 okay. Yeah, exactly. So if you uh, look at this, it's like Rapple, he has six fish ship, and uh, Yoshi's having four. Of course, yeah. it is a difference, but not that, that big of a difference. Yeah. Because Yoshi <laughs> quit making ships, it seems like, and Rapple is still producing, so he's investing more and more wood in the water. Well, Yoshi's yeah. already going for a side build forward. Oh my god, what? But for and and Rappel sees it. Does Rappel maybe it does I mean is that what is that Hurser doing over there? Was he maybe going for the relic or was he maybe just going for the going for the scouting? Again, you know, having said that, I, I will say one thing, um, Count. It is, you know, Yoshi doing just kind of weird, you know, non-standard Yoshi things. That is a good way to mix up the game and force Rapple to not play the standard meta. But having said that, you, the unpredictability almost becomes predictable. So, you know, Rapple sees that, okay, not a heavy investment here on water. He sends his, his Hurser over there expecting just, is there a random, you know, side build going on? He, he ends up finding it, which, you know, maybe it's a little bit lucky, but... There is a, if you're too or so unpredictable, it's almost predictable in unpredictability, if, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, for sure, it does make sense. And also, if you look at the response from Rappel, he already has three barracks. Uh, Yoshi yes. may only need two. So Rappel will be able to produce faster and more compared to Yoshi. And also, mm -hmm. I see two Valkyries in the, in the game, but both are from, from Rappel right now. So he can start raiding with those, they are healing up. I think those, they are going to be huge as well. Oh yeah, man. And there's the bird actually. <laughs> I see one for Yoshi as well. Also, Rapple, he's looking really like you already said. He's he's. This is about as good of a start that you could you know really hope for here. Um, in an Odin or in this little Odin mirror here, looking amazing. Is I mean what? If you look at the population, you know the fish. Sure, Yoshi's back on fish. Actually, Yoshi makes a big comeback on water. Again, just Yoshi things happening here, and maybe it's it's Rappel losing his fish right now. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's at least Rappel can garrison, right? So yeah. And Yoshi only has two fishing ship out uh, four fishing ship out right now, and I think Rappel can at least keep fishing with two or maybe three fish after um, he scared away those dogs. And he is running with his army. He can't really build. He's uh, stuck on a very little population. He's house right now. Rebel has 40 Oof. population more. 30, I mean. So that's, that's a huge difference right now. Oh, yeah. Valk's on the right side as well. Getting some good damage on that wood line. Might get a handful of vil picks. There's a couple of weak vils there. Going to see two vil picks for sure. Maybe a third. If uh, if Rappel's paying attention to that, that 7 HP vil, he's not quite. Still, that's what? Four vil picks, if I'm not mistaken, for uh, Rappel so far. Uh, compared yeah, to... Well, yeah. 30 villagers versus 24 villagers. That's a huge difference in the early game. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, Rappel's looking really good. He's cleaning up that left side build um, that Yoshi had going. Like you said, he's he's ahead by 30 population, roughly. Getting the Vill picks. Getting a lot more Vill picks, dude. Again on the wood line of Yoshi. Sure, Yoshi has tower upgrade, but still, he's losing Vills, dude. He's 32 to 22 villagers. Are you kidding me? Yeah, this Rappel guy, he's serious. He's not joking around. He already has some Valkyrie upgrades. He's just keep playing aggressive. Don't give Yoshi any time to breathe. Go for the forward gold mine. This is gonna be over soon, uh, Iron Maiden. I don't see any comeback here from from Yoshi. Hey man, you can never count Yoshi out. By all means, you can never That's you can never true. count him out. But I'm. It's hard for me to disagree with you at this point in time. I'm not gonna lie. It's hard to disagree. Speaking of Yoshi yeah. things, that far left corner, now that's a side build. You can't get much more side build than that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, if there's one player that can pull off a crazy comeback, it's, it has to be Yoshi, but this is going to be extremely difficult, for sure, for sure. <laughs> I don't know, man. I mean, what can, speaking of, like, comebacks and whatnot, how, what can Yoshi do at this point in time? He's behind by a lot of economy. Sure, he's forcing some idle time on Rappel's fish, so that's a little bit of a win for him. But, you know, he's he's just so far behind in population, resources gathered, etc. What can he do here? I have no clue. He has <laughs> two, yeah, he has 280 gold left. All of the gold mines are forward. There's one pretty close to his, to his Rhino. So I think his first objective should be try and secure the Rhinos and the town center and maybe the gold mine. That might mm. give him some space and some briefing, briefing room. But, but I don't think Rebel's going to let him uh, do that. More regulars are coming in. More villagers are gonna uh, die. Yeah, uh, very natural. I don't know, man. Rappel's looking like he really wants that. Um, so for for those of you guys listening to this, who um, so we just barely casted count one count against Mr. Boat and uh, Rappel. Rappel was co-casting with me, and I did mention before Rappel left the call. I did mention that the the stakes of this series are fairly high. Whoever wins this series secures their spot in the top eight and the loser of the series they're going to be tied with several other players so they're you know the the potential to move on to um to the playoff stage of the tournament and potentially the turn your, your you know tournament life is on the line here for both of these guys so this is the stakes are high and i think rapple didn't realize that when i mentioned it to him at the time but he it, it looks like he's taking that <laughs> he's taking it seriously man he's coming out swinging that's for sure yeah, you gave the guy some extra motivation, so now he's like <laughs> on fire. This game. Maybe I should. We should say the same thing to Yoshi, just so that, just so that you know, we uh, yeah. he realizes the gravitas of what's going on here. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> All right. So it seems like Rebel is having double the population right now. He's gonna go for another raid on the wood line. You low health villagers over there. They are surely gonna die. Oh yeah. Rappel's a good enough player. He should be focusing down those weak HP Vills. Or the Ox card. I mean, that's good too, I suppose. There's one. Yeah, of He's gonna run out of way with all his Valkyrie, even though there were two Hoshis. Strong 24 is feeling wow. Very nice macro by him. Very nice, man. Those are shield maiden Valkyries, like you pointed out before as well. So they can easily, a little bit quickly, quicker than otherwise, heal, heal each other up. Count, well, so at this point in time, Count, Rappel has done a lot of damage to Yoshi, and he's going to do no more damage on that gold mine on that top side. But there are red dots all over the map. So as you can see, Yoshi's trying to do his weird Yoshi thing. Yeah. <laughs> Let's nice. see if Rappel can handle it. He's playing aggressive on the, uh, the second gold mine of, uh, of Rappel. I don't know there, but yeah, well, this is oh. GG. Well done by Rappel. That was very well done by Rappel, man. Like we said before, I think this is summarized by, you know, Rappel took this series seriously. He he wants to ensure his spot in the top eight. He doesn't want to leave anything to chance. So there we go. That was a pretty convincing um, first win for him. Holy smokes. <laughs> very, very well done by Rappel. We can't say anything else. The guy didn't make any mistakes. He had enormous rates. The Valkyrie spawn was really, really good. Just an impressive performance by him. 100%. Kudo, like by all means, Yoshi was trying to do his thing, you know, he had, I wasn't really focusing on it at the time, but with the forest fire, uh, the early forest fire, he had a Hersir and, a, um, and an Ulfsark forward, he had his Valkyrie forward, he was trying to, you know, create the, create the messiness, the chaos, uh, but, you know, he wasn't able to find as much damage as Rappel was able to find on his forest fire, He's, you can see the Ulfsarks over here on this left-hand side getting a pretty sick raid over there. 
right hand side on the gold mine. So he he tried to do his thing, but you know, yeah, Rappel was Rappel's feeling on point, that's for sure. Yeah, I think the start of Rappel could not have been better for him. Oh yeah. He instantly killed like two long boats. He did some very good micro over there. He had a very good up timing. It was very well done by him. And after that, he also got a force fire with, with a villager kill, pushing away uh, Yoshi instantly to another Yo, one. And from that point, he just took advantage after advantage after advantage, and he just capitalized on, on those early advantages. Well, you know what's interesting? The last comment I want to make real quick um, is that so at this point in time, Yoshi actually is the one who has control of water, and and Rappel, Rappel's the one hunting on his rhinos. So it's kind of funny that, you know, Yoshi gets the side build going, he, you know, he he essentially, you know, forces Rappel to react and go land himself. Um, so Yoshi ends up winning water. Okay, sure. But, you know, he, he forces the reaction from Rappel, which was strong enough that, you know, he just got raid after raid after raid. And Rappel did more damage on land against Yoshi rather than, you know, those couple of fishing ships that Rappel doesn't have right now. So it's kind of funny when you force a reaction from your opponent that it can kind of sometimes kind of bite you in the ass, if that makes sense. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. And also, there were like 12 fishing spots. So you don't want to fish for mid-game or late-game. Just some mm -hmm. extra fish in the early game. And eventually, it's getting less and less important to win water because there are so few fishing spots. It's it's not going to be enough to outboom your opponent. You actually rather, rather want the, the hunt because you're Odin. You have to hunt bonus, yeah. you can do hunting dogs, all that kind of stuff. True. Very true. Well, that's that's it for game number one. Yo, people. My hero. Very well played. Nice, thanks, Hyon. Therapy Appreciate it. To come. All right, Jeez. let me grab a beer really soon. All right, everybody, welcome to game number two. Um, another Odin Mirror here, not a big surprise. I suppose it's not a big surprise here. Um, but another Odin Mirror, we got Rapple playing Yo, in the blue color. <laughs> Thank Delay you, everyone is going to come. And then we got Yoshi also in the red playing, uh, playing Loki, or not Loki, playing um, Odin himself. We got, I think both players use their great hunts uh, count on the giraffes. I see Rapple with a pair of pigs, same thing with Yoshi. Okay, so both players. Basically, you know, I guess a mirrored map setup, you could say. Both players with kind of sketchy-ish... Nah, I don't want to say that. They're not sketchy gold mines, but you're looking at Rappel's gold mine. Um, forward, who knows what Yoshi's going to do. You know, might might end up getting some pressure on that. Yoshi himself has a forward gold mine as well, so Rappel's not afraid to, you know, play aggressive himself by all means. So I think there's definitely potential to, you know, for both these guys to, to do something exciting, I guess you could say. Do you expect yeah. any really aggressive play? Do you think they're going to play cautious and build in their base? What are you thinking? Well, first of all, I think it's very interesting that both players are seemingly going for the same build order, but they do not. So Yoshi is he's having two draws already, and Rebel is only one. So Yoshi is going for his, his super intelligent build order. I never studied what he did, but I saw him doing it a few times before. Mm -hmm. And um, according to Soup, and I feel like Soup is a very knowledgeable player, mm -hmm. Yoshi's build order right now is the best build order, build order there is for Odin. Mm -hmm. So I'm really curious if he can get a little bit of an advantage in the, in the early game. And also to answer your question, mm -hmm. I think both guys are going to play very, very aggressive. So all of the, uh, the hunt is outside of the base. And mm -hmm. if you take a look at the forward hunt for Yoshi, it is behind the forest. So, if Rappel is able to push Yoshi away from those giraffes forwards, he can also burn down the forest and he'll probably kill like two or three villagers. So, I think both guys just they have to play aggressive. Okay. Well, Yoshi's taking your advice here, Count. He's building his temple very far forward. Rappel's, sure. Rappel's going a little bit more conservative. You can still play aggressive without building aggressively necessarily. So Rappel is building defensively here, but yeah, Yoshi, Yoshi is definitely you know, here heeding your advice, you could say, uh, with a very forward temple here. Um, do you think that is Heimdall territory? He, that's a very forward temple. Is this Heimdall territory? 
Yeah, he has to. If you're gonna build forward like this, you have to go handle. Ooh. Otherwise, it's like super tricky because Rebel can make Ulf Sarge from his town center. Uh -huh. And those guys can build, they can fight, they can basically do everything in the early game. Mm -hmm. So if you're gonna go for a forward base like this, you have to go handle, in my opinion. But Yoshi, he isn't. He's going Freya. Mm -hmm. Both players advance basically at the, at the exact same time. And you know, the funny thing about rushing Odin is that um, depending on where you build your temple, the ravens are just going to, you know, find the forward build just by being sent across the other side of the map. So unfortunately for Yoshi, he doesn't get the he doesn't get the surprise attack on Rapple. Rapple sees it already, already starting to react. Is he walling up his tower? Not quite walling up his tower, but interesting. Personally, I wouldn't advise you to wall your, uh, your tower right here. You want to keep all of your resources into your bank, so when you hit the second edge, you can make as fast as many barracks as possible, and mm -hmm. also as many units as possible. Mm -hmm. And here, Maiden, is the second thing that is very interesting. Yoshi, he has five villagers in wood and five villagers in food. Rappel, on the other hand, he has six on food and only four on wood, which means it is easier for Yoshi to build like three barracks very early on, and mm -hmm. Rappel probably is stuck with only two. However, Rappel, he will have the advantage, uh -huh. uh, uh, advantage at making, uh, what is it called? Uh, running cavalry, because he has, yeah. he has more food, of course. Having said that, I mean, RC, they're only 40, they're only 40 food, not, uh, you know, not super food intensive, having said that, but that is a, that is a very fair point. I was gonna, I was gonna mention the, the Valkyrie of, of Yoshi kind of finding the, uh, the food on top, but I guess Yoshi doesn't want to go super aggressive on the food on top. Rappel's got another yeah, Valkyrie. This is force fire already, because that forest, you want to burn this one. If you push Rappel away and you can burn a forest, you have a big advantage. But like yeah. this, you already used it. Having said that, though, you did mention that he had fewer had fewer villagers on wood, so that does hurt his wood eco, uh, Rappel's wood economy. He does have the two longhouses, you know, anyway. But I guess, yeah, maybe a forest fire right here. Even if it's trying to take a good fight against these herser, that might even be valuable um, as well. Yeah, for sure. And it seems like that Joshi is going for a. Uh... Uh, for some Ulfsarks, which is also very interesting. And the first throwing X-Men is already out for Rappel. So let's see if he can defend his hunt. All oh, Herseer is on the Valkyrie for Rappel, so very nice micro there. It's hard to tell who's... Okay, so Rappel's not feeling confident. There's too much damage output with all those Ulfsarks. Only one, now two throwing Axemen. <sighs> Dude, again, another a forest fire right here. Oh my god, that would be huge. There's the wood, the food, the everything, man. The forest fire there would have been sick. I guess the wood yeah. there wouldn't have been there because, you know, forest fire on the other side. But, but whatever. Huh. Mm. Sure. 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 A little bit of, uh, of a skirmish over here, but I think this start from Yoshi was pretty good. But from this point, it's going to be tough because Yoshi is stuck with, uh, stuck with nine Ulfsarks and Rebel. He will have a very balanced army. He got some Hersiers, some Ulfsarks, some from x men some Raiders. So it's going to be way easier for him to raid and to fight than it's going to be for Yoshi. So Yoshi is, I know you can't see the production, but Yoshi is swapping over to um, to raiding cavalry. So he got out his, what, eight, nine old sorks, whatever it was. Now he's swapping over to pure pure raiding cavalry, which is, I kind of like that decision because Yoshi, or sorry, Rappel is going for throwing X-Men and raiding cavalry. So eventually a, a mass of raiding cavalry could be nice oh, against look the... Look at Woodline, look at Woodline. Mix. Sick. Dude, sick. Exactly. Whoa. Raid with the Ulf Sarks. Raid with the Ulf Sarks. Keep him off a hunt with the Ulf Sarks. And then what a big up raiders. Is it going to be a kill? Oh, he didn't kill a single villager. There are so many low hunt villagers over there. He has to be <laughs> smacking himself in the head, you know? You have to pick, pick like one or two villagers and make some picks over there. Hey, man, you'll take idle time. That's a successful raid by all means. That's true. And there we have a uh, oh a force fire on the food actually a little bit of a waste a... in my opinion. Yeah, I agree. I think it was a good idea. Maybe he used it a little bit too quickly though. It doesn't actually do really any damage here. At least it shouldn't. Much at all. Oh, or okay. maybe it does. <laughs> all right. So Rebel's going for it. And Jersey's army is basically everywhere, but it's also on the food of Rebel. 
Look That's at huge. the elephants in the in the east. Yes, that is huge. Is it, how many vil kills is he gonna get this time? <gasps> Boom! There's one. one. Okay. Now all the while, Rappel is getting a nice attack on the forward base of Yoshi. So Yoshi goes for goes for a really sick raid. Let's see how many other. That's two kills already. Should get three and four. Um, if he micros it. Boom. <gasps> Or veil kills. That is very sick, but he does sacrifice um, a little bit of map position. So is it worth it? That's a big question. Is it worthwhile? This start makes me think a little bit of the game Yoshi played versus Soup on Weathering Hall, where yeah. Soup was just clearing base after base after base, and Yoshi <laughs> was just only going for the villagers, nothing else. And yes. the second raid is coming at the wood line. Very nice. With the low HP villagers. Low HP vills, exactly. However, Rappel, at the same time, he has got a Valkyrie and a couple of vill, uh, couple of RC on the food of Yoshi as well. So both of these guys just hammer each other's economy. Nice. And Rappel, he's running forward with the villagers. <laughs> yeah, it seems like uh, Yoshi's gonna, gonna lose all of his hunters. That, that's also very bad for him. Uh, what a chaos, man. Both are sitting on... 23 villagers, so at least they did the same amount of damage. Yes. However, Yoshi, he loses his forward base, and Rappel still has it. I know, but I, well, I'm, here's my thought. I wonder if, you know, the chaos, we've we said it plenty before um, leading up to this game, I wonder if the chaos kind of favors Yoshi a little bit more, if he's a little bit comfortable in the chaos. Rappel's doing his own amount of damage. He's a sick player himself, by all means. Um, I, I think it, I guess it's up to, it's kind of up to Yoshi to see since he lost most of his forward base, it's up to him to do more damage than he's taking. Yeah, he's losing units everywhere right now. Yeah. So he's down population, almost 20 right now. Yeah, I think Rebel's in a better position. He also has the shield band and Valkyries, two already in the field, probably making more right now. That's a, I think, you know what, I think this is a very good point that, you know, Yoshi was raiding on multiple spots. Um, he was doing, you know, great eco damage, but like you just mentioned, he's losing, he's, he had had units all over the map causing chaos and, you know, this and that and doing damage and everything. But at the same time, he was also losing those units as well. So Rappel, you know, that's that's the thing. Yes, it's nice to have multiple raiding parties. Yes, it's good to cause chaos and, you know, this and that and the other. But if you're doing too much, you can lose too much at the same time, if that makes sense. And it seems like Yoshi has, he has done damage. Yes, absolutely. But he's also taken yeah. too much damage at the same time. Yeah, neat. And the thing, Rappel's doing extremely good. He's getting his Valkyries together. So every now and then they heal a little bit, then they go forward for the raiding, then they heal a little bit, moving around everywhere. I think Rebel, he's in the driver's seat. Sure. Do you think when do you think it's worthwhile to get the she um to get what's it called? Aurora Borealis, the Shield Maiden Valkyrie upgrade? It depends on the amount of fears you you have on gold. Of course. You don't think it really boils down to the number of Valkyries you have? For example, Rappel has two, and he already upgraded them. It's um, I sometimes even do it when I have one, because you also have to foster healing. And with yeah. Thor, for example, you sometimes want your Valkyrie to heal. Mm -hmm. So it's not only for the fighting stats. But, yeah, of uh, yeah, basically, it's it's with Norse, most of, most of the time you go for a little bit uh, dwarf eco, you know, so for, for a little bit of extra gold. So then it's quite easy to spare it. So sometimes I do it with only one or two already. Hmm. Well, it's uh, honestly probably doesn't matter for Rappel right now. He's looking, yeah, he's yeah. in, like you said, he's in a, he's in the driver's seat, man. He's in such a commanding position. Looking really good here. Yoshi, man. Yoshi's just, I don't know what's going on, man. He is, Rappel is able to do so much counter pressure and counter damage on Yoshi. He came, he showed up to take this game, man. That's for sure. I know we already said that in game number one, but oh boy, is it true here in game number two as well. I think Rappel is incredibly scary in Odin's Wars. I will never pay this guy in Odin Wars. I will always try and counter pick over here. It's uh, <laughs> it's gonna be so tough uh, to win versus him. But right now, Yoshi is gonna have a good raid again. Yeah. Like, once again on the elephants in the in the west. Nice. Is he gonna get the build? Gets a ghost build? Is, is that gonna give him a couple of extra kills, possibly? Yeah, for sure, for sure. 
One down. Oxcart going down, that's huge. Two down. Now he needs to run. He needs to keep the Valkyrie alive. Yes. Nice, Having said nice. that, another Valkyrie spawn for or um, you know, coming out for a rapple. You know, count. I think I think this raid is almost, you know, it's it's thematic to what we've been saying about Yoshi. He's doing so much damage, but he's also taking damage. He lost several units there, the Valkyrie, you know, one of which was the Valkyrie. He's doing damage, man. Like on the top side, boom, he's already hitting yeah, um Rapple wow. with Ulfsarks. This is awesome. It's, it's, it's very nice. He's going great chaos. And actually he's he has in villagers right now. He has four villagers more than Rapple has. He's doing what? great damage with raids. We have to give him that. What? How is that possible? He's behind on populate total population, but he's ahead ahead in villager numbers, which is <laughs> which is kind of funny, dude. He's look. There's a couple of our raiding cavalry right there. They can join in with the raid as well. Sick man, very sick. Can't like, dude. You can't count Yoshi out, man. Never, man. Never count this guy out. Eight villager head already, but he's down so much in in what is it called uh, called in a uh, um, in 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 war population in army. So right now, I think Rebel should just go and try to hit the gold mine of, uh, of Yoshi. There's no way he can defend against so many upgraded raiders. Yeah, oh, for sure. Yeah, exactly. Medium raiders. Does he have... No, okay. Half expected Thundering Hooves, but no, no, no. Not yet. And he's he is hitting it, man. A couple of Valkyries raiding cavalry right there on the gold mine of Yoshi. He's got more coming in. This is way too many for Yoshi to handle. He probably has to either take a vil fight and pray or just get out of there, man. Yeah, but he can't get out. He's so stuck in there. He's exactly. Ooh. He's going for the vil fight. Oh boy. Oh really, boy? Uh, he's gonna lose all them. There's no the way he can do dies. it. Yo, she's on 75, 74 population. So that nice. I mean, it's a good thing he's got a villager advantage because he needs it. He's losing so many dwarves right here on this uh, on this wood line. So many more dwarves getting killed. Oh boy. That was a huge and raid. only one raid. Rappel is back in the game with the villagers. Wow. And also, he wow. already has the upgrades. He has the Valkyries. He has uh, the medium, uh, the medium upgrade. He has the upgraded Valkyries actually. So right now, yeah, it's it's looking grim for for Yoshi from this point. Man, by all means, like he's doing great pressure, but he's taking so much damage. He's taking more damage. Look at his woodline. Sure, the tower upgrade is in, but there's weak vills there, man. That's that's several more kills. Yoshi's gonna lose. Rappel is crushing his economy with raids, man. Crushing his economy. Wow. And Yoshi, he is out of gold right now. He has only a hundred and one in the bank. There's no way he can get her more gold. This is yeah, this this is a very tough position for him. Also far down in villagers right now. Eleven in the head for Rappel. And yeah. I don't know what you're gonna do from here. He's got sick farms. Here. That's something. He has really nice farms. I know he's not hunting anymore, but yeah, that's nice, right? He got that going. But on the other hand, I see a few farms as well for uh for our friend Rappel. And Rappel, he took his other fence and he's going scotty right now. No, oh, that is sick, man. That is sick. I can't even believe how big of a flip flop that those economies just, just, you know, the, the just happened. Yoshi, what was he ahead by eight villagers or whatever? And now he's behind by eleven. And Rapple is up. He's ahead in Valkyrie numbers. He's ahead in, you know, raiding cavalry strength. He's ahead in population. He's ahead in heroic, the heroic age. Rapple came to play, baby. He came to play. Holy smokes! Yeah, this guy's not here for uh for making jokes. <laughs> yeah, he used all of his joke doing. power. It, while co-casting with me, he used all of his, you know, joke ability on that troll joke. <laughs> now the guy he's is out serious. of jokes right now. Yeah. He's out of jokes, man. He's it's it's yeah. time to play. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. George is going for the gold mine once again, but I think uh Rappel, he saw it in time. He yeah. might lose one or three villagers, but that's uh that's all one or two free. And there's Scotty coming in. Very nice. It's a good raid, man. It's a good raid. Rapple's got 800 um, gold saved up at the bank, though, so... Yo, he's my hero! Sure. It, lo it hurts Trimble to lose to the dwarves, SPM. but still, man. <laughs> Thanks, Ian, again. Look at those, those, those raiding cavalry. It's like... It's like uh, a Valkyrie with mixing a few uh, raiding cavalry instead of the other <laughs> way around. So it's like... Uh, Seriously, though, it's... It's five shieldman Valks, and what is that, seven raiding cavalry? Oh my god, dude, count. 
you know it's a bad sign. When your opponent is raiding your farms, you know yeah. it's a bad sign. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Repel's going for the town center, <laughs> just gonna play it safe. Yeah, Yoshi is getting crenellation, so that will help, but oh boy is he behind. Oh boy is he behind. Does he have any gold income at all? He's still sitting on 31 gold. I don't know, I'm not watching the gold right now, I'm just watching the Valkyries floating away with the rainbow tills they have. It's, uh, <laughs> it's such a nice feel over here. Yeah. yeah. There's enough Valks, they can just fight against our Hurser, man, no problem. And Yoshi mm -hmm. calls it, jeez, man. Jeez. Jeez, Rappel, <laughs> Rappel's game to play. I don't know, well, so count what he said, you know, he wanted a little break in between. Come. <laughs> in between co-casting a proper gentleman is gonna and, come uh, what what he said to me is that you know he's gonna he's gonna go eat his gyros his tzatziki he's gonna you know have a little kafadaki all this greek power and boom it apparently there's something to the mediterranean diet because oh boy was he looking good here <laughs> Nathan, i'm sorry i'm gonna interrupt you i hear yes. my baby crying i think my oh. wife is uh is, is, is sleeping already so okay. i have to step in and do my jitty Thanks for having me. It was a great Thanks. cast. Really enjoy it. It's always extremely fun to watch this guy in the games, but I'm out of right. I'm out right now. Okay. Well, thank you for co-casting, Count, and congrats thank on you, your man. Win See you later. Bye -bye. See you later. All right. Well, there, there goes Count. He said he could only join for a game or two, so you know, there we go. Uh, fatherly duties call. Anyway, I think there's not much more to say other than we've said it once, we've said it twice. Apple showed up to play, man. Um, you know, Yoshi is a is a funny, scary opponent to play against by all means. But wow, Rapple Rapple really showed up to play. He looks super, super, super solid in these two games. Amazing kill to death ratio for him as well. Um, yeah, wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> seriously, match dude, seriously. Someone tell Rappy Rapple heavy cavalry does buff the Valkyrie. <laughs> yeah, he needs thundering hooves instead, right? How many villagers killed during this game? Can we get a count? I wish we could get a count, J-Touch, bro. I wish we could get a count. That's what we need in Retold, man. That's what we need in Retold, the number of villagers. That, um, a little, like, kill death counter, I guess. Actually, Extended Edition has that, which is really nice, but yeah. Yeah, look at those. Uh, oh my god, right here. 39 villagers for Yoshi, and then he just drops down to 23. Oh my god, man. Wow. Not much more to say other than, wow, Rapples. Rapples looking really solid, man. He's looking really solid. By all means, um, we can look at the bracket here in just a second, everybody. But um, for those of you watching live, it looks like Rapple probably is going to... Um, Matrius goes on to round five in the top spot with five wins and zero losses. Um, Rapple lost one series against, um, against Soup, first series of the um, tournament. So... By all means, Rapples, he's in spot two or three. I'm not quite sure um, how it's all gonna pan out when everything finishes with tiebreakers and everything, but Rapple secures his top eight spot in spot two or spot three. And, you know, he's he's looking really good. Um, he's been tested. Who has Rapple played so far? Let's go check out his round four. Round four, he played against Odin King. Okay, got a two zip there, count one count. In round three, that was a really nice series. Rapple looked really solid then. Mr. Boat, 2-zip as well. And then he lost that series to Soup. So, so I mean, by all means, Rapple, Rapple hasn't been tested against Matrius. The other top players, Matrius and Redo. Um, Chemo's up there at three and two. Um, yeah, like I said, there's a, there's several players who are who are going to be tied for a three to two score. Anyways, so he secures a top spot or a spot in the top eight and... Wow, there you have it. He's he told me, I can't remember when, but he told me that, you know, he's unhappy. This is he participated in Fimble Winter 2 and he participated in Fimble Winter 3. And he ended up getting fourth place last year in Fimble Winter 3. So he's he said he's he's unhappy with his Fimble Winter performance thus far, and he's he has his sights sighted? Aimed there we go, aimed on um Aimed on, aimed on first place. So, like I said, he's looking good, man. He's definitely looking good. So, well played to, well played to um, Yoshi. Let's see if Yoshi can, you know, sneak his way into the top eight as well. Like I said, there's going to be several, um, several players who are tied at um, three and two as a total. What is it? Score, I guess. So after that, um, you know, it goes down to tiebreakers and, and whatnot. Are there any more games? Potentially, yes, Peffy. Potentially, yes. Um, 
Losing to Soup, no shame. Seriously, Soup, Soup, seriously, yeah. It is true. That is very true, Soup. That is very true. Soup's got his eyes on prize number one as well. He got second place last year, so he's definitely gunning for that first place as well. Anyways, well played to Rapple, by all means. Well played to Rapple.